Uh, one of the things. Okay. You, you were t tell me again where you got lost with like all the the Oki calculator stuff. Um, I think maybe it's just like FA tool or something. I don't know, but <laughs> I feel like um. I'm not sure. I feel like maybe I'm just uh, maybe reading it wrong or something, or like I'm a frame behind, or maybe it's just my res my responsiveness. But sometimes I think I have like a proper MIDI, but maybe it's just poorly timed and I get stuffed somehow. Okay. Um, All right. So. so so let's think about one in particular, right? So when we were playing, the one that you kept on doing, you would hit me with uh, EX SPD, and then I would hit you with like you would dash up and then I would hit you with like crash and medium kick into EX fireball. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. So um we can start with the Okay, here let me just reset. Let me just hit reset Oki and then um Okay. So when you're trying to figure out like the Oki situations, you want to start you can, as you click any of these moves, these are all the moves. This first section is the all of the character's moves that cause a knockdown. So mm -hmm. you just click on it, and then it loads it up here in the timeline. Um, so the timeline is broken down. Uh, the top line is like a 10-frame marker. So this is like 10, 20, 30, 40 frames. And then yeah. these are the individual frames. And then KDBR is knockdown back recovery, KDR is knockdown normal recovery, and KD is just knockdown with no recovery. And yeah. then each of the slots right here are um, essentially your your Oki slots that you can use to um, to build a sequence that you can then um, you know replicate in a, on a, in a real match. So. Yeah. Uh, the first thing, generally, the, where, where I like to start in most situations is a forward dash, because after a knockdown, most attacks in the game will cause you to be kind of far from the opponent. So dashing yeah. is like a consistent way of covering space and covering like a certain number of frames. So. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so when you when you scroll down to and click any of these um, moves, then they'll load up in the timeline. So uh, forward dash, and right here on this side, this will always tell you how many frames uh, each move is. So forward dash is 25 frames, and yeah. then um, the net. Uh, what we do next is load up Oki slot number two. So now we want to think, all right, well, what, what would be like, what are, what are his, what are Zangief's options when he can cover all this ground? Uh, and then assuming that the opponent is going to, to do quick rise. So we can basically just, kind of go through our moves that, you know, would be, that would put Zangief in a good position. So what do you think would, you know, what do you think might, what, what do you, what do you normally go for after EX uh, SPD? Um, I guess it kind of depends on whether or not they're pressing buttons. I mean, okay. I haven't, I haven't really, I'm not super good into reading because obviously if i did i would have stopped trying to do it after the third time sure. against you um but if they block uh i assume you would try and go for the throw either normal or command um and then if not if you see their pressing buttons and you're at advantage you would probably go for i think uh crouching light kick or uh light punch they i think they might have the same startup but light okay. punch pushes them a lot so that's okay. good okay good so uh, that's good. So what we're going to do is essentially just load up all of those potential options and then see what it looks like on the timeline. 
So the first one was forward throw. And then the second one was SPD, right? Which uh, yeah. which one? Um, I think uh, with EX, you, you're really close, so you could probably do heavy punch. I think they they should have all the same startup, but they have different ranges. Yes. Okay, so we'll do heavy punch first. And then what was the, what were the next ones? like? Uh, uh, I think it was uh, crouching like kick and crouching dead. Crouching like kick and crouching jab. Okay. Uh, all right. Any other ones? Um, I, mm, I feel like standing heavy kick I've seen done before. Okay. Some sometimes if you press buttons, I think you can get a crush counter with that. Okay. Um, other than that, I'm not sure. Okay. All right. This is uh, this will give us some good stuff to work with. Um, I would also, um, when I was trying to learn Zangief so that I could stop him from terrorizing me in season one, um, yeah. I would try to look at the moves that had the most um, the most block advantage. So we already oh. have low jab in there, but we also have um, crouching medium punch. And then uh, crouching medium punch, and then stand jab. Okay, let's look at these first. So right off the bat, um, okay. So these these two numbers, the KDBR and KDR, this is knockdown and back recovery, right? So off of any throw, whether it's command command throw or regular throw or even let's say Mika's view reversal counts as a throw um, yeah the opponent can only do normal or no recovery so anytime yeah. you get a th so okay you already know this right so oh, this well yeah I actually found that out the other day because I, I put set it to back recovery and I threw them and then they didn't and I was like oh wait yes <laughs> exactly so um, when we look at it we want to essentially hit, we either want to hit, it, it depends on whether or not they're a three frame normal or a four frame normal character, but as, assuming that you're playing a three frame normal character, which is going to be harder to deal with, you want to hit on frames one through three. Either yeah. one is, uh, any of them is fine if you're going for a normal. But if you're going for a command grab, you want to make sure that it hits on frame three because frames one and two are throw and vulnerable of every wake up. I don't know. I, I don't know how anybody is supposed to know that, but that's <laughs> but that's I, the way it is. I didn't know that either because I thought you could grab limbs, but I guess you can't. Well, you, you can, but you can't grab. But on frames one and two of... Mm -hmm. Every oh. wake up, they cannot be grabbed. Okay. So, right. so when we look at the when we look at the the options that we chose, right? So we have um, f we have regular throw, heavy SPD, and and then we have uh, so these all hit on these both hit on the third frame. So that should tell us that after we hit EX SPD then they can um, then we can just dash and then either do forward throw or uh, SPD again. So okay. so what we can wait. do is test oh sorry go ahead. Uh, so wait that's the so that timeline on the top that's their entire recovery so you can even grab like during their recovery um, or I thought it was only after it ended mm, this is. Um, you know, I don't know if if each recovery is ten frames or if it's just um, I don't know if every recovery is has ten frames of animation or if it's just ten or if Tool Assistant just put it here in a in a block of ten. I'm not totally sure. Okay, but. Let's assume that 
each recovery has 10 frames of animation. So you could hit earlier if you had, like for example right here, um, crouching light kick and light punch both hit on frame two. Yeah. But And so this is fine because this will, because they're forced to block and if they hit a button, you'll get a counter hit. But, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So like they don't have to wait until let's say right here, like frame 11, they don't have to wait till here to hit a button. They can hit a button on frame one. Oh, okay. Does oh, that make okay. Sense? so th this is just FA tool. Just so basically they can press, let's say they're crazy and they hit dragon punch, like they're mashing it. Mm -hmm. That'll come out frame one there. And it's just that F8, uh, F8 tool is just kind of putting out the timeline so you can actually see how many frames there are. Correct. That, that green bit isn't actually like their full recovery animation. That's actually just... It might be the full it, recovery animation, but they can do something on frame one. Okay, got it. Yeah. So, uh, so now what we can do is test it and then see if we're right in our suspicions. So first uh, we go to the dummy settings and then set recovery to normal, set stun to off, and then we're gonna record a wake up action. So uh, you can set interval setting to one and then go to recording slot one. And then um, I guess you could also turn on wake up slow down too if you need to. Um, and then we're just gonna mash jab. And if, if it doesn't say reversal, then you need to re-record because you didn't hit hit the button soon enough. Yeah. Okay. So then you go to set wake up actions, set that to on, and now every time we do a knockdown, uh, he's gonna wake up with jab. With me so yep. far? Yep. Okay. So, um, so now we can go back to the Oki calculator and then look at our double check our situation. And so if we do EX SPD, then he's going to be down. Oh, you can look in this column at the top uh, for the number of, uh, for the amount of uh, plus frames. So on normal recovery or back recovery after EX SPD, he's plus 27. Um, yeah. And so then we plug in our 25 frame forward dash and then because uh, and then if we immediately do forward throw, then that should hit on the third frame, which means that uh, the f the standing jab and the throw will collide at the same time. Okay. So, so you're basically trading over the throw. <laughs> correct. But because of the way the priority system works in this game. Um, heavy uh, throws beat normals and heavies beat mediums mediums beat lights and lights that collide on the same f frame I mean attacks that are of the same strength that collide will just they'll just trade but yeah. uh, this is why um, the this is why when a move like let's say with Ryu you know if I hit stand jab I'm plus two if, if the blocking Ryu hits stand jab or hits stand jab afterwards and then the attacker hits standing medium punch, they both collide on the same frame, but the medium punch wins and scores a counter hit because of the priority system. Yeah. Okay. Sorry if that's confusing. Maybe that's not a good way to explain it. But here, let's... So in that case, then the throw would be the jab because it's above. Correct. Okay. Yes. So... What we're going to do is go and set critical gauge to auto recover. And then now we're going to uh, basically try to test and make sure that we are correct. So we're going to EXSPD and then we're just going to dash throw. Okay. So when you do it, um, if you are, when, when you, when you play it, uh, when you do it, you should notice and make sure that the dummy stand jab still comes out. Like it's really quick, but you can see it if you're paying attention. So watch. Oops. Let's see if you can catch it. 
Okay, I'm one I'm one frame off, that's why it's trading. See, it like flashed for a second. So that yeah. means that we are correct. So all right, so after EXSPD, uh oh and here we'll just add this to the um we'll add this to the mind map. Yeah, that one frame is kind of tough to find. Yeah. Okay, so after EXSPD, then dash <laughs> forward, and then uh, forward throw. Okay, so, so that works. Mashing in this situation would not would be all right, right? For the, so, uh, for the Ryu player? Uh, no, for, oh, for, for you. mashing the throw. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like this. This is where it might be useful to set one of your buttons to throw. Like throw. for like for example, um, I'm gonna set my this button up here to throw, and then okay. So I'm gonna do EXSPD, and then I'm just gonna dash and mash throw. Yeah. That kind of stinks. I should probably switch with I think, eventually, but I don't have any more buttons to use, sadly. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, it, you know, it, it kind of just depends on, like, whether or not... Um, it kind of depends on whether or not you need, like, all both all three punch and all three kicks buttons. But, I mean, essentially... But, you, I mean, the, the point is that you can mash throw and it'll work. Okay. okay. That's, yeah, that's good. Okay, so the next one on our list is uh, EXSPD again. So now we can test it the same way by doing EXSPD, dash up, and then EXSPD again, dash up. Oop, it's too slow on that one. So, of course, like... If you're not frame perfect, then uh, then you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get counter hit. Yeah. Um, the good news is that most players aren't gonna be like frame mashing. Perfect. Well, no, it, oh. Mo oh. most players aren't gonna be mashing stand jab. Because remember, remember what I hit you with was actually crouching medium kick. Yeah. So let's record a new slot for crouching medium kick, and then turn um, slot one on, off slot one on, and now we'll see how that works. So now I can basically because that because uh, crouching medium kick starts up in I think uh, six frames. I might be wrong. Hold on one second. No, actually, I think crouching medium kick is seven frames. Oh, no, six frames. Okay. So like that three extra frames makes all the difference. So essentially every time you, you did EXSPD and then dashed up and then try to do it again or whatever you did was like too slow because crouching medium kick starts up in six frames and this is super easy to just do SPD again. Yeah. Okay, so that means that we can add this to our uh, our Oki situation and EX SPD again. So essentially this kind of creates like a little loop right there. So, all right. So that's good. So now let's go back and set wake up action one to back to on and two back to off so that he mashes jab on wake up again. Okay, yeah. so now we'll go through the next one or the next couple on our list, which is uh, crouching light kick and crouching light punch. So remember, the two throws both connected on the third frame. Uh, which is what we wanted because we don't want it to connect on the second frame, first or second frame anyways, because every wake up is throw invulnerable on the first two frames, but it's not, they're not going to be hit invulnerable. So these should both hit on the second frame, which means that after EXSPD, dash forward and crouching light kick, we should get a counter hit. Oops, too soon. Mm -hmm. And then we can try crouching light punch. 
Oh, one frame too late, that's why it trades. Hmm. So, I mean, this is where, this is where like, you definitely are gonna have to like practice because as you can yeah. see, like, it's tough. Oops. Yeah, like for some reason. Oh, there we go. I got it. Like if you hit it once, like you can, you should know like, okay, well I hit it once. Like I can do it again. It's not, it, it's gonna like the, the, the computer is going to be mashing at, you know, the, the same way every time. So yeah. if you hit it once and then you have trouble doing it again, that just means that you need to practice more, but this confirms our, this confirms our, um, our suspicion that it will hit both of these moves will hit on the, um, on the second frame. Yeah. Which means that we can add them to our, um, to our list. Uh, and then you might also think, all right, well, you know, maybe one of them is better than the other, right? Because, uh, you know, crouching jab is plus two, but, uh, crouching leg kick is plus one. One of them might be better than the other. And what you'll find is that you just look at counter hit advantage. And so counter hit gives you, um, an extra three frames of advantage in this instance. So that means that crouching jab is plus five and crouching, uh, short is plus four. So that, um, I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference unless we do medium crouching, medium punch, I guess. So we should be able to do this. We should be able to do low jab. Ah, there we go. So, uh, so that only and, works on counter hit. And then, well, I mean, assuming that could do more, I think too, I think you can go into SPD with the, uh, or what, what is it, Lariat with that too. So then you can even build like a thing out of that. Zangief's combos aren't exactly, no, maybe it's too far away. Uh, I was holding, I was holding back though. Oops, fuck. Oh God, come on. Oops. Yeah, I was gonna say you could maybe even go into super too, but then you're you already use a bar though, so that's like kind of impossible. Exactly. Um But uh if you didn't if you if you hit this on a different situation Okay, hold on. I I need to know if this works. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know too. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't work. Yeah, I think it's too far, yeah. But uh, I bet you what would work is follow-up uh, standing leg kick and then SPD. Um, hold on, hold on. I feel like you could do... I, I think um, after the medium punch, you could do uh, standing... Oh, yeah, there you go. You could... With the advantage, you could probably do V trigger, or you could maybe even do standing leg kick in the lariat because that's like his mm. kind of like his target combo. Okay, let's see. Nah, it's too yeah, far. It's, yeah. Okay. Well, either way, like uh, that's pro that's probably worth putting down in the uh, um, in the note in the in the notes here. Uh, but you might also say that uh, crouching light kick is, um, like light punch is better because it combos into crouching medium punch on counter hit, but the advantage of crouching light kick is that uh, you can on, on counter, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, on, 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 I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, exactly, on counter hit it goes into standing light kick or it goes into into crouching light punch so you, oops so you could go 
There we go. That I don't know yeah. if that worked before, but I mean that's his standard combo. Um, I mean like you can you can do uh, oh yeah you can't do yeah you can do that but you can't do stand jab into standing like this normally. That's counter hit only for sure. So that basically now becomes its own combo. That's a counter hit combo for sure. Oh, like uh, doing the the crouching jab into standing leg kick, then becomes yes, right. Then becomes a thing. Yeah. Yeah. So this forces them to block low, and if they were to do, if they were to hit a button, then yeah, yeah. then you would get hit. And be, this doesn't, like you said, this doesn't uh, counter unless it's uh, this doesn't combo unless it's counter hit. Yeah. So that's. Uh, yeah. And I also feel like that would be a good option anyway, because with the jab and the light kick, you could maybe get like a throw mix up after that with light SPD, because they'd be kind of close enough if they ended up blocking. Oh, you after uh, the low jab? Or uh, Yeah, after the low jab. So if they ended up blocking instead of pressing a button, ah. then you could kind of go for that just in case. So it's kind of like a two option scenario. Yes, exactly. Maybe. I'd have to test out the SPD thing, but uh, I feel like that's totally a thing. Because light kick, uh, light kick uh, mix-ups are like very common, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, yeah. See, so we basically created this. We we just added two sections: counter hit and block. Yeah. Um. So. Okay, let's just look and see. All right, so then let's look at the the last one, which was, uh, or the last two, which was, okay, standing heavy kick. So um, when we look at it, you can see that, okay, so just just uh, to recap, the S is startup frames, A is active frames, and R yeah. are recovery frames. So this tells us that if we dash up and do heavy kick that that's going to hit on the ninth frame which essentially should make it far too slow yeah yeah and then of course we get hit so basically you were correct about all of the ex spd options so um so i would say all right so this cost us one bar this cost us one bar and then um, yeah, I would kind of make it like this so that, like, um, you know, we want to have this option at the bottom because, uh, it's, it's going to cost us another bar. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. It's costly. And this, these are probably going to be like our safest options. Um, yeah. Uh, and then we could probably, I guess while we're at it, we could also say, all right, well, let's just sub this one out. And then, oops, wrong one. Let's sub this one out and do uh, light SPD. Ah, okay, yeah. So we should be able to do ex spd dash up and then light spd. Yep, that works too. Yeah, I think you could even do heavy too because oh, they're because all they're really close. Yeah, that's like kind of the advantage of the ex. Yeah. Because then you just then you're in then you got half stun and <laughs> it's, it's a bad time. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. I guess that's. Uh...